Pakistan had a big win against England the other day. Are they the real deal or is it just a one-off? Well, firstly, let's take a look at yesterday's game. Australia taking on the West Indies. Australia got 288, but they were exposed by fast, hostile bowling of Cottrell and Thomas. That top order just couldn't handle the bounce and pace of these two particular bowlers, and they were left reeling out five for 79 after 16 overs. Now, could Australia recover? Yes, they did. Steve Smith, he took the ascendancy. He scored 73. It was at a uh, strike rate of around about 78. So it was one of those slowest innings by Steve Smith, but it was required. He was supported by Carey, 45 in quick rate of knots. But Courtenau, getting his highest score of 92, he was man of the match. But it wasn't the moment that changed the game. The moment where they changed the game, they were chasing 288, as I said, was when they were 216 in the 38th over, or 39th over. Russell was facing Stark. The game was under control for the West Indies. He tried to hawk him over me wicket. Top edge, it's went out to deep point. Caught. And my friends, that was a turning point of the game that led Australia to the win. Now the West Indies, they've got a formidable team. They can upset a lot of teams. They can get to that final four, but they've got too many T20 specialists in their teams. Uh, in their team. They have to work on composure and taking the game right to the end. But anyway, it's today's game. Sri Lanka taking on Pakistan. Oh, this is going to be a, a tough one for the Sri Lankans. I think Pakistan are just starting to find that momentum. The way they played against England, I really love the way they bounced back. They were exposed by that fast hostile bowling in the West, by the West Indies in that first game. They turned it around against England of the likes of Archer, Stokes and Wokes, as well as Wood. And they were able to play that short ball. They had good rhythm and that batting is looking formidable out the top. It's where they're bowling where I thought they were going to struggle. Riaz, uh, Muhammad Ali, as well as Amir. Shadab Khan starting to get a little bit of form with his leg spin. They are all finding a little bit of rhythm. Now this Sri Lankan batting lineup, that top order, is really struggling. Matthews, a senior player, can't lay bat on ball. They couldn't move their feet earlier on in the tournament when they played against New Zealand. And I think they're going to be exposed again by this Pakistan pace attack. And I don't think they're going to score more than 220, maybe 250. Pakistan are going to win this game quite easily. I'm sorry, Sri Lankan fans. But anyway, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe downstairs, get on the bell for a notification of the next video coming up. Well done to Australia yesterday, and good luck to both Pakistan and Sri Lanka today.